Welcome back Elden Ring fans to another video and yes in today's video we have my Rambo build. This is actually an extremely fun build that I kind of overlooked because I'm not used to not wearing any armor at all because the game bases itself off of poise um, and I didn't know how well a bow would do in mid combat. And actually, I was doing pretty fair with, with Light Roll and uh, being able to use the bow. Now, Light Roll is a little cheap, um, I think, in my opinion, because it's just, it has so many iframes, and you can't really stop it or you really learn the swings because of the game's mechanics. So it does make it hard for enemies to hit you, but that's kind of what makes it good. Um, but we are using the Black Bow, and you can use the Pulley Bow, which is kind of like a compound bow, like in our world that we use right now. Um, most hunters use that. They don't use the traditional bow. Um, with just string and wood. Um, currently, that's not what I was using in this fight, but I do use it for boss fights. It is an extremely, extremely good bow. Um, I am using Flaming Strike because I need to get more range on that little that little Bowie knife. Um, and I know it does good crits. Fire does extremely, extremely good crits if you can pull off a parry with that Cestus. Um, we kind of have a little bit of Rocky Balboa in there because of the Cestus. So I do go in there and beat ass every now and then, but it allows us to actually manipulate the battle so of course the flow of battle in this game is very um peculiar you see my friend he's gonna try and outbow me and he actually does <laughs> so i do i do get shot by the bow but that just shows you that even i wasn't equipped to fight it even with my own standards um you know just just having light roll i didn't know that you could you could use a bow so efficiently but with this fight you'll see we're just really testing it we're just you know going we're doing competitive pvp but we're kind of just goofing off with each other. He tries to cheese me a couple times with jumping attacks, and it really works. Like, you being able to shoot in the air instantly really, really fucks with people. And with this, it's not too bad, um, but like I said, I'm, I'm going to make a video about the balancing and my my basically my retrospective of uh, Elden Ring in total and what I actually feel is really good about it, what I feel are its downsides, um, how I feel they can... They can build upon what they've already created because this game doesn't deserve to be going down the drain um like a lot of souls fans just don't play it because of that there are a lot of us that don't play it and it may sound shocking because maybe you play it a lot uh, maybe a couple of your friends play it a lot but i have hundreds upon thousands of friends online who play dark souls 3 and dark souls religiously and they won't even touch the game because there are busted mechanics in it and that does hurt a game a lot and of course, they're probably going, FromSoft's probably going for more fun than um, just, you know, just competition because they're, they're, not, they're not there for that. They're there for the single player experience and the multiplayer experience. They're looking at both of them. And I would love to see it be about time um, that we see a, uh, a kind of a revision, you know, like a, a DLC, of course. Um, and I did make that video on the DLC originally um, talking about that, that, that little slide picture on Microsoft Store. Um, apparently, uh, the, the files deep inside of uh, Elden Ring say that it's considered DLC for the arenas. I think that's very dumb. Um, I know that most of them were based off of DLC anyway when it came to uh, PvP arenas, but I think that's about. I think that's. I think. I think it's just old and annoying because people shouldn't have to buy it. So I think that's why FromSoft did it because it is kind of dumb to buy something that is pro-consumer. Um, you know, like, unless it's unless it's something huge that they worked on for a while, adding the Colosseums, which were already factored in, I think they were either originally going to launch or they were going to be part of the DLC, and that just didn't work out. But that does work out for us, for the consumer. Um, but I do I do enjoy this build. You're um, getting back on task. I did enjoy this build. This build was a lot of fun. Um, it does require skill of parrying. Um, you will probably see me he sit here and maybe parry mash once or twice, but... Um, if I had higher poise, that would work. I could sit there and parry mash all day, and no matter what, you're not going to stun me, which is another problem in the game. Um, but I don't have any poise. I have four absorption because I'm not wearing any gauntlets. I'm not wearing a shirt. This is my 125, by the way. Um, if I was using my 150, I would actually use what I used for my, my Penguin Zero, my Moist Critical build. Um, I would use the little cloths that go around your hand. Um, I'm pretty sure they're the bandage wraps. Um, but you can sleep people, which is a really, really good idea. Um, it's, it's a very good counter. Don't use backstabs like how I was trying to use them. I was trying to parry. This game's frames for parrying are very punishing. There's only like four frames for fist weapons. It's kind of dumb. Um, and backstabs, they've completely destroyed backstabs. Backstabs were meant to be used to punish people's spam. And unfortunately, they are no longer like usable. Um, 
Using them as a first initial attack is kind of hard, but you have to exhaust someone's entire stamina bar in order to actually get a backstab off. And that's not easy. Um, you'll see me maybe pull one or two backstabs in some of my videos where I'm not exhausting their stamina bar, and I'm just able to run in there. But with, with, with Rambo, I wanted to be somebody who was extremely, extremely uh, aggro. But I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys like this too. Um, hopefully this gives you guys some ideas and you guys are able to, you know, pull whatever you can from this and enjoy it because definitely use that black bow. That black bow is amazing. It's weapon art for barrage is awesome. Um, sleep arrows, not so much bleed arrows unless you're a bleed build, but it, it worked out really, really well with what I had. Um, I, I didn't have every type of arrow, but I was still whooping ass. So if you guys like this kind of content, please like and subscribe down below. Um, check out my other videos because I do have some funny builds. Um, it's more build ideas. Uh, most of my builds are built around the strength build because that's just something simple and easy to work with. But have a good day, guys. Bye.